The AB Arms Mod X Modular Stock System. This is for your Remington 700 short action rifle. Uh, 308, 300 blackout, 556, anything uh, that is short action. And this is really, it really transforms your rifle from a basic configuration to something that is really very modular and can be used for a lot of applications. I've been dealing with Jason Combs for over four years. I've known him for a long time and started out with some of his stock systems, the original AR-15 stock systems, the, the Mod Zero and the Mod One, uh, his uh, bolt carrier groups. And so when they got in touch with me, they had introduced this new 700 series rifle chassis, the Mod X. This is a modular rifle system. It's an aluminum frame here chassis with a 13 and a half inch uh, key mod free float handguard and a monolithic Picatinny rail on the top. Also using the Luth AR a fully adjustable buttstock. It even comes with the buffer tube and it's the rifle length. And also the AB Arms SBRR uh, pistol grip, really ergonomic. Uh, so what we're gonna do is install this on a Remington 700. This is the uh, SPS AAC SD uh, with the muzzle or threaded barrel. And we're gonna install it into this system. And one of the things I've really been doing a lot of lately is using the Remington 700. Uh, I really wanted to get this video done, uh, but you'll see other videos coming up where I've reviewed the 700 SPS uh, as is, as it comes from Remington, and then also with Hogue's new uh, full bed block stock system. But this is really a very unique and very highly adaptable rifle system for your Remington 700 SPS or any of the Remington short block actions. And it'll fit any size barrel the size of the receiver of your gun. It's really lightweight altogether. Everything that goes onto the rifle weighs three pounds, 10 ounces, uh, just about a pound over what your standard heavy overmold stock weighs from Hogue. So you're gonna have a little extra weight, but it's gonna give you more stability at the bench. But another big advantage is it uses the MDT 10 round magazines. Now this is the Luth AR MBA uh, stock system. And you can adjust the cheek weld, you can move this up, it's fully adjustable. You can actually adjust the butt stock uh, and then you have a place to grip it. Uh, again, using standard rifle buffer tubes. Now you can put any stock that'll fit a rifle buffer tube. That's not the collapsible, that's the, the A2 style. But this is a really nice stock system in itself has a rubberized butt pad here. The chassis is aerospace aluminum. It's been milled. I mean, it is a beautiful piece. Uh, it has one of the hard anodized finish that's the military type three. You know, and you know, sometimes you just talk about specs like that, but the military type three finish is extremely durable. I've had other finishes, aluminum uh, anodized finishes that'll start to wear very easily. And the guys at AB Arms put the Team Such Long Live the Republic laser engraved it right here on the stock system. But these guys have laser engraving. It's very easy to identify this stock system. Made in the USA, in fact, uh, the guys at AB Arms are out of Pennsylvania. Here you've got your key mod system all the way through. You have these cuts here to give you a lot of strength and yet relieve weight. Uh, then we have the monolithic uh, Picatinny rail that goes all the way across. And I mean, this is uh, gives you a lot of real estate to be able to put whatever you need to uh, on this forearm. You also get all the hardware you need for the attachments. Uh, this will replace the existing bolts that are in your Remington 700 already. You'll need to supply your own hex wrenches, a 3 16 and a 5 32 You'll also need a star wrench as well for the T15 bolts that go into uh, your, uh, your mounting system for your stock. Now I've already removed my Remington action uh, from the Hogue Overmold stock system, but we're going to go ahead and make sure the gun is unloaded because it could be. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and just remove the bolt while we're here. Now I did replace the standard trigger uh, in the Remington for one of the Timney uh, 517s and this is with the straight pull. This is an excellent trigger system. I've already gotten a lot of range time with this trigger and I love it and I highly recommend it. So we're just going to place our action. There is a groove up at the front. Go ahead and kind of reference it, line it up and then your trigger group and everything should just drop down in like so and it should be a good tight fit. This thing really, I mean, I can already tell, even without screwing it in, that it fits like a glove. We're gonna apply a little thread locker to our bolts. Let's just get some good and secure. 
Here we're going to slide our bolt right into this channel. It's a little bit of a tight fit. Okay. And go ahead and tighten it in first. It needs to be about 65 inch pounds, and that's not super heavy. Uh, and with the thread locker on there as well, it'll help. Now we're going to install in the front. Again, good and hand tight. Now we're going to install our hand guard. Bring it over the barrel. Slide it over this area in the action. Here we're going to take these medium sized bolts. Go ahead and just drop them in. This is the 532 wrench. We're going to tighten that down. Again, good and hand tight. This actually gets about 55 inch pounds. So it doesn't quite need as much as the action. Now we're going to take our four screws. Go ahead and take them and put them into the top. Of course, make sure you remove the set screws that are in the top of the receiver. Uh, but for me, I already had a scope mounted, so no big deal. This is going to give you a lot of stability for your scope once you mount it. Double check to make sure each of these are secure. Especially once you get all of them mounted. Good and hand tight, not super tight. The rail system already has 20 MOA built into it. And what that's going to do is when you have your scope mounted onto your rifle, it's not going to bottom out. You know, if you're adjusting your, uh, your elevation and you're going down, you need to go up. You'll have unlimited up or at least more room up with this uh, 20 MOA slope. We're going to install the Luth AR stock. First thing you want to do is go ahead and just turn this knob until it releases. Now keep your finger right over here because we need to retain that. Drop out your knob. Bring your little retaining plate. And then we can just pull this all the way out. And this is going to allow us to get to our buffer tube. Now, right here, the buffer tube is not secured right now. And just remove the buffer tube. Now I'm going to take some of this Aeroshell 33 lithium grease. Uh, really great for threading, especially with your buffer tubes, uh, your uh, barrel nuts, things like that. And this is NATO approved. I'll have a link down below. It's SK Industries. And I get this on eBay in these little containers. Then we're going to take, go ahead and just screw it in. Don't cross thread, just take your time. Good and hand tight. Next, we're going to add the Luth AR stock system. It should fit right in this groove. And this is going to lock it into place like that. And keep it from turning from either side. Next, we're going to take our bolt and just slide it. This is going to go into the buffer tube, get it started. Of course, all these have had Loctite applied, and I've let it dry. There we go. Go ahead and take your butt plate and slide it into the slot. There we go. Take your retaining plate. It has the teeth on one side. You want to set that down against this area right here and line it up though with that hole and place in your nut right there. Then take the knob and go ahead and just return it. The knob is metal. It's nice, really good serrations. Plus right here, the adjustment for your cheek piece is metal as well. Now we're gonna put the AB Arms SBR R grip. This thing's really ergonomic, really small. Uh, a little piece of foam in there. Just take this plate right off, get it set. 3 16 hex wrench. 
Make sure that your locking washer is in place. We're going to set it up in there. Good and hand tight. Just make sure that your grip is flush with the chassis. Then just return the little retaining plate. This will fit any AR style uh, pistol grip, so if there's something else that you like or prefer, uh, you can easily add that to the rifle. Now we're going to add our bolt into the receiver. And we're going to take our magazine, snap it into place. Wow, what a big difference. I mean, that is state of the art. We're going to take this out to the range and we're going to do some shooting. And of course, we'll be doing a full video on that as well. Uh, I can already tell you, I know the accuracy on the Remington 700 SPS is just phenomenal. So I'm really looking forward to what this will do in this system. Right now, it only comes right-hand version only. Uh, they do, of course, the black anodized finish. And they're also doing a Cerakote finish in flat dark earth. So that's, that's a pretty cool system. And they're also selling complete rifles, already assembled, everything already done. And uh, so, you know, you can check out abarms.com. And there's a lot of cool things, again, with AR-15s and other things that they're doing. In fact, their bolt carrier group, uh, I went through a test of 6,000 rounds using that bolt carrier group without cleaning it. And uh, it functioned flawlessly. I still use it today. On the AB Arms website, the black version is $7.99. Uh, for the dark filled earth, because it is Cerakoted, uh, it's coming in at $8.99. And then, of course, they have rifles, and you can go to the AB Arms website, check that out. And with a logo like this, these guys are doing something right. So coming up, we're going to do a range report on the AB Arms Mod X chassis. Uh, we already know the accuracy that's achievable with the Remington 700 action. And so now, with these upgrades, I'm really looking forward to getting this out to the range. And I think it's, it's not going to do anything but get better. And uh, the guys at AB Arms, they've been doing a lot of great things, very innovative, of course, veteran owned. All parts and designs are made right here in the USA. And uh, it's just a great company to deal with. And Jason and Adam, just great guys in themselves. So check out abarms.com and let them know Suit sent you. And uh, again, there's a lot of cool things on there. One great thing about this stock system is there is not a seven, eight, nine month wait. And uh, I know a lot of the real high tech chassis now uh, they're in such demand that uh, they're really taking a long time to get into production. And that's one of the things great right now is these guys have these in stock. So it's just a great way to go. And it really dresses up this Model 700. So the AB Arms Mod X stock system, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. I was thinking Call of Duty, but I'm really thinking more Star Wars. <laughs> this thing is incredible. And with a logo like this, you know these guys are doing something right, even if James Yeager thinks she has bad posture.